face shaving. Face shaving. How to shave your face. So clearly a lot of y'all wanted to know more about face shaving and is it okay to shave your face and how was my experience and everything. So first of all I'd like to tell you that this method is actually really popular among beauty and makeup gurus on YouTube. So this method of shaving your face is called dermoplaning and people actually get it done professionally in a clinic but in this video I'm going to show you how you can do it at home. And I personally think it's a great way to get rid of facial hair and if you watched my previous videos you know that I practice this regularly and I absolutely 100% recommend this. Also just wanted to let you all know and just put it out there that I do this because I genuinely like to groom my facial hair and I prefer it this way. If you're comfortable with them there's absolutely no need for you to do this. It is completely 100% a personal choice and you should never ever feel pressurized to do this. So that being said let's move on with the video. Hey guys welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing well. This video has been requested by so many of you guys, so I didn't want to delay it any further. I've been doing it for around 3 years now. I started it in 11th, I believe. I've seen people asking me this about regular shaving your arms and about shaving your legs as well. People ask me if you shave your legs, does your hair grow thicker? Does your hair grow blacker? So I'm gonna tell you what happens when you shave your skin on your face or on your leg. When you use a blade to shave your skin, when you shave the blade cuts your hair slantly. So when it grows back, you think it's growing thicker. but in reality, it's just growing with a slant edge. So you think it's growing thicker, but as soon as it grows a little more, it takes its natural shape. So I'm just taking all of my hair and putting it into a ponytail and I'm gonna apply aloe vera gel all over my face before I shave i've come to realize if i shave without aloe vera gel my skin tends to get really really dry so i first apply aloe vera gel all over my face and i apply like two to three layers of it now i'm taking a clean razor you always want to make sure that your razor is clean and i'm just going i'm just holding it at a 45 degree angle and i'm going in small strokes you don't want to pull long strokes just like small strokes and in downwards motion make sure you're not going upwards if you're new to this because uh, it can take you a while to get a hang of this and you don't want to nick your skin and also make sure that you have like um, some sort of napkin or cotton with you so that you can wipe off the hair when your razor gets dirty and you can also see that I'm pulling my skin taut when I'm doing this because you don't want your skin to be loose and if, if it's loose you can actually cut your skin You can actually see how much of peach fuzz we all have like literally I have on my face even when you cannot actually see it and I'm going around my eyebrows and I'm being very very careful you have to be very careful when you're doing your eyebrows. I'm just shaving my forehead and I'm gonna shape my eyebrows with the razor very very carefully and I'm not gonna go too far with it because you have to know when you have to stop with this method especially when you're doing your eyebrows i cannot stress this enough you don't want to shave your eyebrows it could go really really bad so just make sure that you're doing it very very carefully as you can see i'm not shaving my sideburns and i'm just taking off the excess hair that's around that do you guys think that this like this process is satisfying to watch or like it's just gross? Comment down below if you think it's satisfying or gross. So I guess that wraps up on all of my points that I wanted to tell you guys uh, when you are shaving. And now I'm just gonna let you watch the rest of the process and not speak anything because I think um, 
you watching the process will do it more justice than me explaining it so yeah So I am done shaving my face and the next thing that I'll do is that I'll head over to my bathroom and I'll wash my face and uh, I'm gonna come here and apply moisturizer and everything in front of you guys. So I've washed my face and now I'm gonna go in with my Laneige skin toner and I'm gonna apply it on my face with tapping motions now you always want to make sure whenever you shave your face you have you have to moisturize your skin after you shave you cannot cannot skip this step whatsoever because your skin just went through a harsh a harsh procedure and you need to give it much love and that's what I'm doing right now. Radiant than before. It is a little red. Like you can see the uh, scars that I have are a little red. But that's okay. That's gonna the redness is gonna go away in few hours. Now when I'm applying the toner, I do not feel any burning sensation anywhere. So I know that I've not nicked my skin anywhere. Although I have nicked my skin in the past and whenever I apply anything in above that part, it would literally burn so much. So if you accidentally nick your skin and if you're applying toner or anything afterwards and it burns, you know that you know where you went wrong. After I've applied the toner, I'm going to go in with my moisturizer and the moisturizer that I'm using is from Soon Jung and it's the Hydro Barrier Cream and this one, this moisturizer is by far like the most moisturizing moisturizer that I own if that makes any sense but yeah so I'm applying it all over my face And that's it for the routine. I will end this video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any more questions related to face shaving or anything, I would be so happy to answer them. So you can leave your questions down in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you for watching. I love you guys. My old lovers fall into my covers Where they sink one by 